Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today they released all new flashback cards. Flashback Joe Hayden, Flashback Andre Johnson, and Flashback Nick Mangle. And as you guys remember, with my lineup here, my wide receivers, I'm missing a fourth wide receiver. Because I love to run shotguns and four wide receiver sets. And as of right now, I only have three. So that Andre Johnson could be a big help to getting my team to where I want it to be. Also, I want the, I actually want all of them, but Andre Johnson and Joe Hayden are the two that I really want. So we're going to take a look at Nick Mangold first, probably the least desirable card just because he's a lineman. But he has some great stats and some great boosts. Uh, what is he going for? He's going for right around 440k because this one will sell probably. Um, he has four nine or five ninety nine stats, two ninety eight and two in, and a ninety six, which all of those can be boosted to one hundred. Impact blocking and run blocking are already boosted for him with a plus five for impact block, plus four to run block, and plus three to short throw accuracy. So he would be a great help to anchor down your line in the center. Probably the best center available, even better than the Jeff Saturday. Even though he doesn't have any one hundred stats, he does have great boosts that could help your whole entire lineman including your quarterback with the short throw accuracy. Now we're going to take a look at Andre Johnson, uh, the man worth a crap ton of coins. I think he's what? I think he's over a million. Let's take a look. Yes, exactly one million. There's Andre Johnson up for exactly one million. Four star Andre Johnson, plus four to catching, plus four to pass block, and plus four to release and catching traffic. Uh, so if you take a look, he's got six nine or six hundred stats, two ninety nine speed and spec catch. Spec catch is a little harder to get a boost on, but speed is easy. So he easily has eight or seven ninety nine or oh, I can't seven hundred stats, possibly even eight, depending on if you have a boost to spec or yeah to spec catch. Now the card that I want. Uh, probably the most out of all of these, even though I do need the Andre Johnson, uh, I would like a new corner, and so Joe Hayden is the perfect one to do that. Going for right around 500k, 3 star Joe Hayden, plus 4 to awareness, plus 5 to man, plus 3 to acceleration. Uh, not His stats aren't ridiculous, they're not amazing, uh, he does have 100 man and 100 agility, along with 99 awareness and 99 zone. Play rec is easy to boost, speed is easy to boost, tackle is hard, but you can boost it, and press is decently, it's, it's somewhere middle of the road to boost. Uh, you just got to look at the back of cards because uh, press isn't on the front of the cards, not one of those things that they keep track of. He's Yeah, so he's going right around 500k, and so I've got some packs to open for you guys. I got my three legendaries from Solo Challenge. Uh, one collection and the Dion Jordan. So we're gonna open those four first, and then I got 24 off seasons to open. So hopefully I can pull at least one of the new cards. Uh, if I pull Joe Hayden, I'm gonna keep him. Pull any of the other two, I'm gonna sell them. So actually, let's quick reveal. Uh, we got Megatron, Dion Sanders. Let's see here, I need to start keeping right outside linebackers and halfbacks and quarterbacks, I guess, because quarterback collection is gonna come out. So that's got to pay decent attention and keep all those because I did discard all my reserves. So I got to keep, I got to pay attention to that. And uh, because I thought I was going to be done with this game, but then they gave us back to Future Stars. So I w I'm right back into it. We got John Elway, Tom Brady, and nothing really in that pack. Let's see here. Elway. Let's card the rest. You need to keep. I need to keep right outside linebackers too. I did keep my Gerard Mayo key card, so even if I don't do that, collect, actually, I'll probably sell them right away. Um, might sell one right away and one hold on to just in case their price goes up or something like that. Let's quick reveal this. Pulled Chris Johnson, so not too bad. Nice 10k right there. Also pulled John Mackey, another 10k right there. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Charles Woodson, Beanie Wells, keep Stuart Bradley, toss all those. No crap, freaking crap. Okay, well, go back, go to my actives and discard all those. Barum, 880 coins. 
rolling in those coins with that discard. Okay, now we got 24 off season. Hopefully we can pull at least something decently rare or some amount of coins. Uh, cuz I don't want to lose too many of my coins. I had 700,000 when I when I bought these, so Cameron Moreau or Mara, I haven't seen that card ever. Peyton Hillis, Jordan Gross. So nothing in that Hillis contract discard all those or like a Jarrell Casey that would be a nice pull uh, since he's like 300k he's a crap ton it's a ridiculous amount I remember when I pulled mine I sold him for like 180 and I think he's gone up even more now um, doesn't look like I pulled anything Jonathan Vilma uh, keep the second edition Ryan Matthews toss the rest at least I pulled the Mackey and the Chris Johnson, so that's at least 20k on my coins bag. Uh, not not as much like I I think I'll pull at least something small out of this, maybe the equivalent of like 20, at least at least 40k off of the discards. I think so. That's not too bad. Um, nothing there. Let's see her go through. Actually, didn't pull anybody. So okay, discard those. I do need the contracts because I did discard all my contracts, so I need to throw some on my team uh, just to get them up to where I don't even have to worry about contracts anymore. I think this is a quick reveal one. Quick reveal, uh, another Tom Brady, Anthony Sherman, Vontae Davis, Sheldon Brown, okay, toss all those. I didn't keep the contract, whatever. Uh, the, the, the 20 packs to go. Come on. Give me give me the new Flash Bach Andre John. Or just give me a freaking golden ticket. I haven't pulled a golden ticket yet. It's so annoying. So I'll pull one. There's Luke Keekly, uh, Michael Bush, uh, Greg Salas. So discard those. Those are my reserves. Come on. Golden ticket Aaron Rodgers. I, I can feel it. Golden ticket Aaron Rodgers. Duh. Quick reveal time. And Terrence Newman. Alaflalav or whatever you say name. Terrence Newman. Okay, discard the rest. Send those to my reserves. So I'm only about 160 off of making all my coins back. Uh, those legendary packs were free, so I'm not too worried about how much. Um, I'm not really worried about those as long as I get all my coins back. That was not a quick reveal, but I pulled Mario Williams, so worth quick revealing on accident. Uh, Corey Wooten, or Wooten, however you want to pronounce that. Discard those. Send that to my reserves. I want to do the Combine Warrior collection again, but uh, I don't have another account where I can do the solo challenges and get the free 150k off of it. I think this is a quick reveal. Uh, but I don't know. I wonder if Brandon Whedon is still a little bit rare. I'll keep him just in case. Demarcus Webb. Uh, I'll keep Peters as well. So toss those. Send Whedon to my trade block. I, I don't I don't remember how rare Whedon was at one point. I forget. I think he was like 40k or something like that. Not too much, but I'm guessing he's dropped in price a decent amount. Uh, but I don't even remember what. Oh, I wanted to do the combine warrior on another account, but I don't have a another account that I can do the solo challenges. So I'm not quite sure if I want to do that or not. Uh, just trying, just trying to think of if it's actually worth it. Uh, the Freeney and the Verdon's like two fifty, three hundred thousand, and I think the um, the uh, the the Dwight Freeney's like one eighty, two hundred, two fifty maybe. And you get like I think it's three hundred thousand. You get all the cards back, and you get um, first edition JJ. I know he's not worth anything, but I'll hold on to him. Uh, but I think you get, I forget how much it is, you get 10 legendary packs, I think, get them all back, uh, you probably sell them all for about a total of 25000 so not too much, but 
I guess not too bad. So it's 325 right off the bat. It's going to cost you about seven, 600,000. If you were able to do the solo challenge, it'd be well worth it, but I can't. I already did it on a second account. And I already had a friend do it on his account, so don't have that option either. And the only reason I let him do it is because I, I trust him with my coins and stuff. Oh, hey, that wasn't a quick reveal pack. I don't know why it's so hard for me. I always lose, like, track of what's quick reveal and what's not. Not quite sure why. This is quick reveal, though. Uh, Mercedes Lewis, Chris Houston, Jeremy Mincy, Matt Ryan, Charlie Pepra. I remember when Charlie Pepra was worth a ton. Uh, that's it. This got those. Remember when I had the first edition, Matt Ryan, when, uh... They were out of packs, and I sold them for like 100k. That was a, that that's so stupid. Why they do that? They should have left the first editions in and never took them out because they were in collections. Or like when they make a collection and put a uh, first edition card in it, but you couldn't get the first edition, so that card was expensive as crap. Keep driver. I'll keep that. Uh, Djax, because I don't know. I don't know why I kept that Djax, but I might as well keep him. So come on, give me, I don't even care, I don't even like want the new flashbacks. I'll take a freaking golden ticket Nambi just to get the discard value. Just to pull a freaking golden ticket. I just want to pull a golden ticket. Uh, Lamar, Bridget Bush, Patrick Brown. Discard that. Come on, 10 packs to go. Now we're down to a 10 pack. Starting off with North Tuna. I'll even I'll take like anything right now. This is awful. Jason Phillips, Terrence Newman, Ryan Clady, Darren Sproles, Barrett Rude, Donald Butler, Damata Pico, and Mike Tolbert. So keep all these. Toss the rest. Throw those into my reserves. I think I my reserves are almost were almost completely empty when I started this. I think I had a couple of random playoff cards, uh, the Ghost Steve Young. I had the legendary coaches. I had a bunch of random crap. Uh, nothing really too uh, exciting. Matt Bosher. I think I need him for the punter collection, even though you can't get one of the punters. Uh, da -da. That's why I haven't done the punter or kicker. Some of the kick, some of the kickers are missing. Some of the kickers you can't get. Some of the punters you can't get. Some of the punters are way too expensive. It's just stupid. Those are two collections that you should be able to do and make coins off of because they're not very high coin rewards. So might as well just let us make some coins off of it. Riley Cooper, 69 overall. Uh, Tommy Kelly. Let's see here. I want to keep Riley Cooper. Toss the rest. I thought about doing the right end collection again on my other account. I might go on my other account and try to figure out uh, which collections I can do to make coins so I can bring you guys another video opening up some legendary packs because right now I don't want to open them up. I don't want to buy legendary packs because as you can see my luck is absolute crap. So there's no there's no real incentive right now for me to open packs. I'm not pulling anything. I probably pulled some rare some rare silvers and bronze, but I mean I, ha I want to pull, like, a big ticket item, like a golden ticket, or the new flashbacks, or, I mean, flashback Ed Reed, even Mike Wallace, or Combine Warrior, or a golden ticket, like, something. Uh, Rashad Jennings, Silver Halfback, Wes Welker, another Mario Williams, I guess, by Combine Warrior, I guess, I guess Mario Williams counts, so that's another 10k right there. Discard those, send them to my reserves. We're up to 260. Oh, well, then my Randy Moss sells. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's why it went up. Okay. Uh, I was like, that was kind of a big jump. I didn't really notice that. But yeah, my ghost Randy Moss sold. I bought him for 20, sold him for 25. Not a huge profit. I'm probably going to sit here. Um, actually, I'm going to try to make a long run at Zombies, another solo long run. Uh, Jared Allen, Jason Smith. I remember when he was super rare. I highly doubt he is anymore. Uh, I rem he was worth like 20, not 20, he was worth like 50k for a while, but I highly doubt he's that anymore. Hold on, I keep David Hawthorne. 
I hope they come out with the right outside linebacker click. Actually, I won't keep them because I don't like the position rewards because they don't give you a boost, which I don't understand. They're releasing these new flashback cards and whatnot, and they're better than the collection rewards because they're not, um, what am I trying to say? They're not, because they're boosted. I don't know what I, I don't know why I got so confused right there, because they're not boosted. Like, I'd rather have a card whose maybe stats are a little bit worse, but they give a nice boost, than a card which is good stats that does absolutely nothing for you. That's the one thing that annoys me about uh, those position collection rewards, and now I'm just quick revealing because I don't know what I'm on. Uh, Carrie Williams. Discard those and Steve Smith of my reserves. So I think I've lost about 100k right now because these packs have been freaking awful to me. And I didn't pay attention again, so I'm just going to quick reveal again. Quick reveal Ray Lewis, Cameron Wimbley, uh, Razul, da Razul Dowling. Good, good Patriots player. I don't know, I'm just keeping kind of some random players for random teams, and we're down to one pack. I didn't even notice that. So here we go. We're starting off with Trent Williams. What can I pull? What can I pull? Quick reveal. Um, nothing? Nothing. Two coach. Oh, no. Yeah, two coaches. Chuck Pagano and John Fox what I'm talking about. That's a real successful pack right there. Two head coaches. Okay. I'm going to open up one random offseason here on the chance like uh, yesterday I opened up one and I pulled uh, Richard Sherm or Richard Marshall and uh, Combine Warrior uh, Mario Williams. That was a pretty good one. Let's go through this. Jordy Nelson, Kevin Walter, Andro Roll, Sione Puau, Romeo Cornell, Jeff Fisher, Contract, Jeremy Mincy, Jared Valdehir, and Megatron. So, discard those. So, not too bad of packs. Uh, didn't pull anything great. I'll go show you guys kind of the highlights of this pack. Uh, so, we'll go Elite. So, I pulled two Mario Williams and a Luke Keekley. Did I pulled a Chris Johnson, too? Yeah, I pulled a Chris Johnson as well. So I pulled those right there, so that's a discard value of 35000 So not too bad there. I don't think I pulled anything else noteworthy in here. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so we'll go over now to Legendary. And I pulled... Um, yeah, John Mackey right here, so that's another 10 k Didn't pull all my coins back. Uh, I don't even think I pulled anything close to my coins back, but... Not too bad of polls. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the long video. Most of my videos have been pretty short. So I will catch you all later. Peace out.